Hello everyone, welcome to our Flash Series webinar today, hosted by Hannah Bin Marketing. Today we're going to talk about call-only campaigns, the basics, everything that you need to know to get your first call-only campaign up and running today. I'm the presenter, I'm Shannon Glass. I am a production specialist here at Hannah Bin Marketing. I've been here for about a year. Uh, if you'd like, follow me on Twitter. So today we're going to talk about what are call-only campaigns, who should use them, who would benefit from them, the setup, and the rules behind call-only campaigns. So what are call-only campaigns? They're a special way for businesses to reach potential customers without having the customer go to their website first. They're automatically prompted to call the business uh, just from the search screen. Um, the ads are specifically designed for mobile phones. They won't be shown on desktop or tablet. Uh, and it eliminates that step in the conversion process where the customer needs to call in order to complete a sale. However, they're directed to the website first and so forth. So this eliminates that step completely and allows the customer to call right to your business. And the call only campaign ad, it looks uh, like the one that you're seeing right now. Uh, the headline has a call and then your business phone number, and then, like a normal ad, the display URL and the two description lines, and then it has your call uh, button. Anywhere you click on that ad, you will be prompted to call that business. So who should use them? Benefits, businesses who benefit from calls, uh, businesses that have seen success in call extensions in the past. Uh, those who have call centers and can handle a large volume of calls or want to increase their call volume. Um, those who are appointment based, so your doctor's offices, lawyer offices, um, any offices like that that require an appointment to officially complete a sale. Also service based, so taxis, if it's late at night and you need a taxi, the last thing you want to do is go and look through a taxi website to find a phone number. You just want to call, get your ride, and go home. Um, so businesses like that. So the setup, how do you get these set up? And they're fairly quickly to set up. So on your campaigns tab in AdWords, you click add campaign and then you select search network only. From there you'll be prompted to select call only. Next, there are a few requirements that you will need. You'll need your business name and then you'll need a phone number associated with your business. And then you'll need as you would with any other ad. You'll need your description lines and your display URL. You'll also need a verification URL. This verification URL is used to ensure that the phone number given is legitimate. Uh, the phone number that you give above has to be verified on that page. So it has to be contained on that page somewhere. Now for your ad, when uh, you create your ad, you do have two options. You can choose to show that phone number that you selected above and that will be the phone number that a user sees and that they will ultimately call. A second option that gives you more reporting options um, is to use a Google forwarding number. This is exactly the way that you would use for a call extension um, and it gives you more options when it comes to reporting so you can track the time of the call, the length of the call, the area of code that the call came from um, and it just gives you those extra reporting opportunities that you wouldn't have if you use your business phone. Um, so the rules. With everything there's rules um, and it's the same rules that apply for any other ad in an AdWords uh, campaign. So all the ad policies, uh, length, character length, punctuation, they all still apply. Um, the number that you use, it must be accurate, it has to be a legitimate number. Um, only domestic numbers within the country that is being targeted can be used. Uh, no fax numbers, no premium numbers, uh, and no vanity numbers, uh, just like with any other AdWords campaign. Um, and the trademark policy still applies like it would in any other instance. So that's everything that you need to know to get your call-only campaign set up today. Thanks for joining us.